Hi, thank you all for tuning in. It's been a long time since I posted, granted. But I'm hoping I'm gonna have some really good things for you now. Now that I've finally found my voice. As of today, I'm going to be speaking from the heart. It's just gonna come out there. Um, don't know what I'm going to say, but today we're gonna to be talking about real life people, real stories. And as a life coach, people often ask me, what is it that I can do for you? I'm not a psychologist. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to go through your, your life bit by bit. I'm here to get you to do the work, for you to look back and to see if there's any patterns in your life, to see if there's something that you could have done differently. Now, there's a lot of people out there that have issues and they don't tell anybody about what's happened. Like, when bad things happen, most of us keep stumped. And we don't even tell our friends about it. And then, what happens is it boils up inside of you and bit by bit, you're gonna start to get triggered and people can say things to you and you just blow up at them there and then in their face and they're like, what just happened? It had nothing to do with whatever it was that they said. It's got to do with those things that you buried. And now's the time that we need to get them out into the open to release them, to let them go so that you can live your life again and feel whole. And believe me, this could happen. Now, today I'm going to speak about a client of mine um, for, for reasons that's obvious, <laughs> that's quite obvious really, I'm going to change the name. Now, let's say her name's Charlotte. Now, Charlotte, for 25 years, had been carrying around a big secret. And it wasn't until she came into sessions that she opened up and she finally put it to bed. Now, what happened? At 17, Charlotte ran away from home. She got into a bad crowd and then one night her worst nightmare happened. She got raped. For five hours she was took to a lay-by and abused. She was beaten black and blue. She thought she was going to die that night. Fortunately she escaped. But what came after was even worse. For the following years all she could think about was what happened to her that night. Now the police in that case, they actually found the rapist and he was sentenced to eight years in prison. But that didn't relieve what was going on in her brain, in her mind, in her body. Her relationship suffered for the next year because she didn't tell anybody about it. She went to see a psychologist, but the psychologist started asking her all these questions about her family, as though they were to blame. She couldn't stand that, so she walked out and she never went back. And she carried around this secret. She couldn't dare tell anybody when she did. And when she did tell somebody, they looked at her and they put her down. They threw it back in her face as though it was her fault, when it wasn't. She'd been carrying around all this shame this guilt, this anger, and of course it had a knock-on effect into her relationship. She couldn't date anymore. She didn't trust men because she hadn't released what was going on inside her. She hadn't put it to bed. Through our sessions together, bit by bit, she could finally see what it was her role in this situation. And she was finally able to let it go. Her life now is so much better. She's dating. She is now not scared of men anymore. And this type of thing is available to us all. If you want somebody to talk to, somebody for you to bring up old wounds so we can get them out and get to the core so you don't have any triggers anymore. So you, you can forget about it and go on with your life, then please feel free to contact me. The first half hour session with me is free. And then from there, you can see if I'm the one to help you to let it go. Well, thank you all for tuning in. In our next blog, we'll be talking about suicide. So I hope to see you there. Thank you, bye.